Hi everyone, it's Natasha, aka Time Turner Acquired here, and I'm here today with yet another unboxing, and it's kind of getting um, a bit embarrassing, the amount of unboxings that I've been doing and the amount of stationery that I buy, but um, this was something that I actually bought quite a while ago. It is a 2017 Passion Planner, and I'm not really sure why I ended up buying this. Um, I basically I found out about their Kickstarter and I kind of heard about the company before and I just kind of fell in love with the kind of philanthropy that the company does, especially with, you know, if I bought a planner, I'm pretty sure they donated one to someone in need and I, I, I just really kind of like that kind of stuff. Um, and this was obviously before I kind of fell down the Hobonichi rabbit hole. So I've kind of the last few months, I think this Kickstarter was about in June or July, and it's um, at the end of October now, so for the past few months I've kind of been umming and ahhing about how I'm going to use this, but um, first I'm going to unbox it and then take you through my thoughts of it. So I've actually already opened all of this up, and um, the reason that I packaged it all back up was that I wanted to show how amazing this packaging actually is. This came all the way from the United States, um, had tracking, and yeah, I just I just really like the company. So it came in this yellow bag, which is padded with bubble wrap, and then inside it was this kind of hard cardboard envelope, and then inside this cardboard envelope was another padded postage bag and kind of at this point when I was first opening it I felt like I was playing pass the parcel or something and then inside this we have the passion planner so um first kind of impressions as a moleskin girl this is my moleskin bullet journal I absolutely love the outside. It's soft, it's flexible, um, same as my bullet journal. It's got the elastic clasp and I just, I really like the feel of the cover. It's kind of like faux leather and it just, it feels, yeah, it just feels really nice. It feels really sturdy. Um, I'll kind of do a thickness comparison. So that is with it against my mole skin. Now the problem with this large mole skin is I've already quite I've already filled a lot of it with washi tape so I'm just actually going to grab one of my new mole skins. So um this is a lined large mole skin that I've only done a few reading notes in so far. So to give you an idea of thickness it is it's a bit thicker than it and I think most of that's in the cover because the cover's a bit thicker but um yeah, the paper's definitely thicker as well, and I'm not sure if you can see, but that kind of colour difference, this is a really, really kind of stark and bleached white, while the malt skin is a bit more beige -ish. So, um, that's that. And it's got a really nice ribbon here, and it's just the really nice, bright, vibrant green, and it kind of reminds me of the Evernote green or something like that. So I really like it. It stands out nicely next to the black. Um, I'm a huge fan of elastic closures. So that's great. The back is just plain, which is really nice. And the front has the Passion Planner thing embossed on it, which is really nice because it, it, it doesn't show up too much, but it's nice to have it embossed on there. So I'll open this up and um, the elastic yeah, you can see it. It's kind of indented it a bit, which is interesting. Um, look, I don't really mind, and I prefer having a tight elastic than having it not indented, I think. So, when I open it up, um, first few things. Um, this is a sticker, and that's quite cute. I'm not sure. I may even put that in my Hobonichi. It's just something nice to have. Um, and um, this is a little card and it just kind of says about a bit about the Passion Planner 
and it's kind of like a business cardy material. So again, this may go in my bullet journal, may go in my Hodenichi, um, and I really like what they've written at the back of it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to read it on the video, but um, you can give it a try. And this has, if found, please return to, and a couple of spaces for a name, address, possibly email and reward. And I like this, it says add your favourite memories to this page, so um, that's really cool, um, I don't think I'll end up doing that. And um, it's printed on 100% recycled paper, and I just love this company so much because they're, they're just really conscious about their footprint and about giving back to others and all of that kind of thing, and it's just, even if I don't end up using this much or selling it on, I'm still really glad I bought this because $20 out of my pocket to support such an amazing company is something that I'm really happy about. So um, I'm not really going to go through the inside so much and this is more so um, because you can actually download the Passion Planner for free on their website and this is what I did um, before I did the Kickstarter to see what it looked like but I've also done it afterwards to kind of let me think about how I think it will look. Um, just one caveat, um, it's really easy to download stuff for free online, I'm guilty of it, but for such a great company and because it's only about 20 or 25 US dollars, if you've got that kind of money and you've had a look at it online and you think it will work for you, just please buy it um, because your money goes to so much good stuff. So. Yeah, but you can definitely look at this online. So this is the Passion Roadmap, and I really like the idea of this. And I'm I'm not very good at kind of putting goals down on paper because I'm always like, that means I actually have to achieve it. And I guess it's kind of like well, duh, because it's a goal. But I I don't like kind of committing myself to it and in front of others. So um, but I think that's a lot of my problem with fulfilling goals. So I think kind of having to think about it and put it down on paper may actually be really good for me. Um, and then this is, yeah, and this is just kind of talks about why writing works, why prioritizing works. And I just, I really like the thought they've put into it. So this is a 2017 and 2018 um, calendar with US holidays on it. That may actually be kind of useful because um, I've got a lot of friends in America and they're always like, oh yes, um, we'll do this, or we'll Skype on Thanksgiving weekend. And I've got no clue when Thanksgiving is, so um, now I know. Um, and then this is basically typically how it's laid out. So it's got January and it's the boxes are quite nice, quite big. I could fit quite a lot of stuff in it. And it's got, and it's kind of like an Erin Condren layout on the side, people to see places to go not to do list and I really like that um they're just they're they're a cool company this month's focus work personal personal projects work projects and break it down create a mind map of this month's game changer and then it goes into weeklies and it's got half hour time slots from 6 a.m. all the way down to 10 30 p.m. and to be honest this is my one thing with it I'm a fairly early riser, um, my preferred time to wake up is between 5 and 5.30, which means my day starts around that time and ends about 9, 9.30. Um, so I wish either they left this blank so I could fill it in myself, or they just had a longer timeline, um, but that wouldn't fit in on the page. So this will have to do, and it has this week's focus, good things that happened, and look, I said I wouldn't go through the layout, so I should probably skip through this. And um, the paper's really nice. It's um, quite thick, and I've heard that it's fountain, print, fountain pen friendly. So that will be nice. And then, yes, and then they've got a monthly reflection, which is what to do at the end of every month. And, yeah, it's just, I, I think this is... A really nice thing because it's not only a planner but it's kind of like a life improvement book as well that you can normally buy for like fifty dollars from kiki dot uh, kiki dot k so um yeah I just I really like it and that's basically the format that the whole book and um, at the back there's blank oh there's quite a bit of blank paper 
and there's graph paper which is my favorite and then I really like this it's been hand stamped and hand signed that someone has inspected this by hand to be up to their quality standards and that's an amazing thing for the amount of planners they produce um, this is a back pocket and it just it's gusseted like kind of any normal back pocket is it's quite roomy and it only goes about three quarters up the page so if we compare this to my bullet journal my bullet journal one goes all the way up the page and it's paper with um like fabric -y something I don't know but this is um all kind of I don't know I say fabric it's definitely not paper I'm not quite sure what it is um but I think this will make it a lot sturdier and stuff because I have been scared of my moleskin one slipping and then yeah that's it for it so um I I just I I, I really like it and I, as you can tell I'm a big fan of the company um as for what I'm going to use it for, that is a bit of a harder question. Um, I've got two options at the moment, but I'd kind of love to hear what you use your passion planners for, what you're thinking of using yours for next year. So my two options are, one is kind of like a social media thing, so to track um, what blog posts I want to make when I write them, when I upload them, and the same for YouTube videos. So that is one option. And the other one is just a gratitude one or a kind of, I don't know, life building journal type thing. And while that is kind of a lot broader, I, I, I just, I really like that idea because, um, you know, it's kind of already built for that in creating your passion roadmap and all that kind of stuff. That said, I don't know if the gratitude is kind of too broad for it to um, actually encourage me to fill it in every day whilst I know if I was using it for social media, blog, YouTube stuff, it would have quite detailed notes like I could use one of this to kind of make dot points for a video or a blog post and then you know use the monthly pages to be like right you know I plan to write here, upload you know here, whatever stuff like that so um I don't know yet. I'll keep having a think about it. And yeah, I'm very open for suggestions about what to use it for. And just um, one last thing to show you. This is an A5 size. Um, and I know Americans get quite confused about that. And I'm not sure what the comparison is in inches. But to give you an idea, that is my large morph skin against it. So it's, yeah, it's, it's just a bit wider then a moleskin, and I'm pretty sure electrum, or however you pronounce that, um, and it's basically take a sheet of printer paper, fold it in half, and that's how big it is. So last but not least, um, I've my cover from Luna Blue Bags has kind of been languishing because I, again I've got the Hobonichi cover now, so I a bit and I haven't been sure what to use this for, even though I absolutely love it. So even though I, but my problem is I really love the outside of this as well, so it's a bit difficult. And yeah, I'm not sure how it's gonna fit with the elastic, but um, my idea for a while has been having it for my passion planner. Ugh, this is always so awkward to get it in, but that wasn't too bad. And yeah, that fits it really nicely, even though, you know, it's a bit thicker than your average Fibonichi. And um, yeah, it's really nice. That would give me a few more bookmarks as well. But um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, as I said. So I'm really happy for ideas. So um, yeah, please like or subscribe this video if you liked it and enjoyed the content. And definitely let me know in the comments below if you have a passion planner, what you use it for, what you think I could use it for, and if you want to see any other videos from me or content, um, please let me know and I'd be happy to do it. So thank you and have a great day.